Um, hello, I'm Grant Stevens, and I'm going to do the remote control brain experiment. The one where you can control the cards by thought alone. Right, first you choose eight cards. Uh, any, any random eight cards, but you must think that they're, they're going to be red. It's going to be a red card. It's going to be a red card. All these are going to be red cards. It's four, five, six, seven, eight. Next, you think of seven blacks. So it's, that's going to be a black card. That's going to be a black card. That's going to be a black card. Four, five, six, seven. Next, you do six. Think of six reds. This could be a red. That's going to be a red. That's going to be a red. Four, five, six. Next, you think of five blacks. That's going to be black. That's going to be black. That's going to be black. Four, five. So there you have your cards organised in red, black, red, black. Now, you get your two piles. One's got, this is your special pile. Remember that's your special pile. Right, now you have your special cards. Shuffle them. So you've got all... It's pretty hard to shuffle with these monster cards, but never mind. Yeah. Shuffle, I'm not very good at shuffling, but never mind. And place them face up. And your remaining cards, that's not your special pack, shuffle them also. Terrible shuffler. And then face them face down. Now you've got your two piles, and now you organise uh, another. You have four piles reds here, blacks there. So, red card. So you think red, and you place a down card underneath it. So that's going to be red. Black. That one's going to be black. Red. Red, 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 and so on. Might take a while, but you'll get there eventually. Wrong one. There you go. Try not to do that if you can. And back again. Sorry about that. Why and pause that one. Now that you have your two piles. Alright. By thinking about which one's red and black, I've influenced the cards. There's going to be the same amount of reds in this pile as there is blacks in that one. And I'm going to prove it. So here, reds. It's one red, two red, three red. Four red, five red, six red, seven red. Seven reds there. So, in here, there should also be seven blacks. C. One black, two black, three black, four black, five black, six black. Seven black. And there you have instant, uh, influenced the cards, having the same amount of reds and black. Right, now we are going to learn the maths behind the trick. Here you have org uh, organisation of the last four piles you had, where you have your main red pack, your main black pack, and the sub piles below it. Next, over here, you have the equation for it. R1, which is the main red pile, equal to these the sub parts. It's the same with B2 is equal to these two parts. And now if you change that around, make it there, R1, which is them two, is plus R3 and R4 equals 26, so half the pack. Uh, same with B2, which is them two, plus B3 plus B4, 26. So all the black cards equal 26, and all the red cards equal 26. And when I first did the trick, I don't know if you realised, but when I said do 8 five cards, 7 cards, 6 cards, 5 cards, that equal 26, so half the pack. Right, next, when you move along, if you add right, right, all the reds and all the blacks, both equal 26. So if you put them together, you end up having, because there's R3, B3 there for the R1, 
plus R3 plus R4 equals 2R3 plus B3 plus R4. Same the other side, you have uh, B2, so it's R4 plus B4 plus B3 plus B4, so all the blacks, goes together to make B4 plus R4 plus B3. But, we can now start cancelling them out. You both have an R4, so we can cancel them out. You both have a B3, so we can cancel them out. It goes to the next one, you have 2R3 equals 2B4, but you can get rid of both 2s. Divide them both by 2, and there is the answer to your equation. R3 equals B4. And that is the math behind the trick.